okay so good morning good afternoon so we are to discuss this album which is actually republic act number 1425. now Rizal also called as republic act number 1425 mandates all public and private schools should include the course about the life works writings of Jose Rizal. Particularly his novel No Le Metangere and El Pelibusterismo, authorizing the printing and distribution thereof and for other purpose. That is the public act number 1425. Okay. Otherwise as Rizal Law. So let us emphasize now. Rizal law is particularly for the teaching of no lemetangere and el pelibosterismo and authorizing the printing and distribution thereof and for other purposes. Now let us have a brief history of Rizal law. Okay. It was actually Senator Claro M. Recto who was the main proponent of then Rizal Bill. This Rizal Bill was turned into law, which is Republic Act 1425. It was approved on May 12, 1956. The bill specified that only college or university student would have the option of reading unexpurgated versions of clerically contested reading materials, just as No Le Metangere and El Pelibosteris. The bill was enacted on June 12, 1956, which is actually a flag day or an independence day. Now, to emphasize, Rizal law is Republic Act number 1425. Actually, it was House Bill number 5561 and Senate Bill number 438. You know, our Congress is divided into two houses. Okay? The upper house and the lower house. The upper house composed of senators and the lower house composed of congressmen. So you have to bill. The house bill number 5561 was actually the, the bill filed at Congress at the lower house, the House of Representatives, and the Senate bill number 438 is the bill filed at the Senate. Now, what is the law? that was passed. So just read silently. Okay, so within 60 days no, from the effectivity of this act, promulgate rules and regulations, including those of disciplinary nature, to carry out and enforce the regulations of this act. The board shall promulgate rules and regulations providing for the exemption of students for reason of religious belief stated in a sworn written statement from the requirement of the provision contained in the second part of the first paragraph of this section but not from taking the course provided for in the first part of said paragraph. Said rules and regulations shall take effect 30 days after their publication in the official gazette. Next, we have section two. It shall be obligatory on all schools, colleges, and universities to keep in their libraries an adequate number of copies of the original 
and uh, expurgated edition of the Nole Metamere and El Pelibistri, El Feli Bosterism, as well as results, other works, and biography. So the said unexpurgated editions of the Nole Metamere and El Pelibistrismo for their translation in English, as well as other writings of Rizal, shall be included in the list of the approved books for required reading in all public or private schools, colleges, and universities. So the Board of National Education shall determine the adequacy of the number of books depending upon the enrollment of the school, college, or university. Then we have Section 3 of the law of the Republic Act 1485. Section 3. The Board of National Education shall cause the translation of the Noli Metangere and El Pili Bosterismo, as well as other writings of Jose Rizal into English, Tagalog, and the principal Philippine dialects. Cause them to be printed in cheap, popular editions and cause them to be distributed free of charge to persons desiring to read them through the poor organizations and the body councils throughout the country. Okay. Now, section four, nothing in this act shall be construed as amending or repealing section 927 of the administrative code prohibiting the discussion of religious doctrines by public school teachers and other persons engaged in any public school. Then section five, the sum of the 300,000 pesos is hereby authorized to be appropriated out of any fund, not otherwise appropriated in the national treasury to carry out the purpose of this act. Then section six, this act shall take effect upon its approval. Now, not knowing, even we have Republic Act 1425, actually there is already Republic Act 229. Now, what is this Republic Act 229? This is actually an act to prohibit fighting, horse racing, and high ally. You know, Filipino love this fighting, horse racing, and high ally. Now, on December 30th, which is actually every year, there is prohibition. So, the municipality is to create to take charge of the proper celebration of this day in every municipality and chartered city and for other purposes of the intent of the law. Okay? So that's Republic Act 229. It's mandatory to all municipality and chartered city to have a, a proper celebration of this day. Section 1. The 16 laws and regulation to, to the contrary, notwithstanding, cup fighting, horse racing, and high ally are hereby prohibited on the 30th day of December each year, the date of the martyrdom of our great hero, Jose Rizal. Okay, can you read this for me? This is section two. Okay, you just post the video if you wish. Let's proceed. Now, section three. Any person who shall violate the provisions of this act or permit or allow the violation thereof shall be punished by a fine of not exceeding 200 pesos or by imprisonment not exceeding six months or both at the discretion of the court, of course. In case he is the mayor of a municipality or a chartered city, he shall suffer an additional punishment of suspension from his office for a period of one month. <clears throat> In case of partnership, corporation, associations, the criminal liability shall devolve upon the president, director, or any other official responsible for the violation thereof. What's the violation? That is by having a horse racing, cock fighting, and high ally. If the mayor authorizes having such, then they will be penalized according to Section 3. Now, this section, Section 4. This act shall take effect upon its approval, and it was approved on June 19, June 9, rather, 1948. Now, uh, another relevant 
uh, legal basis for the teaching of Rizal is Memorandum Order Number 247. This is directing the Secretary of Education, Culture and Sports and the Chairman of the Commission on Higher Education to fully implement Republic Act Number 1425. So we have that Memorandum Order Number 247. Then, having such, CHED issued Memorandum Number 3, Series of 1995. This is enforcing strict compliance to Memorandum Number 247. Now, Rizal and Education. Uh, Rizal pointed out that evolution in education, not reliance on foreign investment, is the best hope of the nation to enjoy the highest standard of living and thinking. The system of education for the Filipino must be based on science and technology and not on prayers and theology. So that is how Rizal view education. That the wealth of the nation can grow better if the citizens are well educated. And we should not rely on foreign investment. So that's the best hope of the nation to enjoy the highest standard of living and thinking. Now, his type of education, the system of education for the Filipinos, must be based on science and technology and not on prayers and theology. Now, if we are to relate Jose Rizal and Ninoy Aquino, Ninoy Aquino said, the Filipino is worth dying for. So, Filipinos healed him. Jose Rizal, having said, the Catholics are worth dying for, the Catholics had been killed. Yeah. Now, would you believe that Rizal is a prophet? You may not believe me. We may not believe it. But Rizal, ever since a little child, had already dreamed being a martyr for his heart. That's why he's a prophet. No? Rizal quoted, the firefly must be a martyr for dying for his passions. That is, uh, there was uh, one incident in, in his life. He saw a firefly you know, reaching the, uh, the torch. And of course, uh, you know, the firefly reaching the torch and died. So the firefly must be a martyr for dying for his passions. What is passions of the firefly? Going near to the torch. So Rizal on that, he said, one day I will die for this country and you will see my monument. And that's how the prophecy of Rizal. Now, why Rizal is a great hero, a great Filipino? What is a great Filipino? A great Filipino is one who has had the intellect and the courage to put more sense where the theologians and the politicians in the hoods together have put all the nonsense making for our sick society. In 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, only one rare Filipino had the courage and the intellect to stand up against great odds to be a great Filipino. Jose Rizal, a truth seeker, a scientist, a, and humanist. To keep the Filipino frightened of the truth, however, Rizal was publicly executed by those in church authority. Now, going back to the Rizal law, okay? so the Rizal law is something very significant to our country. Why? Through simply implementing this law, the Filipinos, particularly the youth, would already be enlightened and inspired by the life, works, and writings of Rizal. The students would have a better view and understanding of what Rizal really did for the country. It is important for the youth to be aware of such information because it may serve as a symbol of courage, patriotism, and especially national, nationalism, leading to nation building and Filipino identity 
as well as which would really benefit the country. This is the main reason why we study Rizalo. That's all, folks. Thank you for listening. I hope you continue viewing.